But he looks at me And I look at him And he looks at me straight into the vlogs girl i used to do this whole introduction and stuff and now we just be getting into it so anyway i'm gonna show y'all what i have on we're gonna get in the car and then we need to go run some errands we're wearing this super cute skirt i don't know if y'all remember this but i made this skirt with this cute fringe i had this top or whatever so we're just wearing this together and then of course we got ponytail rochelle let me get the purse. I need to get the cart because we got to go pick up a couple of packages. Let me get the card. I'm trying to see what else. Anyway, um, y'all know how this go. I'm going to see y'all when we get in the car. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I am Rochelle, and I am here to raise hell. So we about to have a little hell raising session. I apologize, but it has to be said. So listen. I intentionally, or I am intentionally, let me make sure, is this bitch recording? Let me make sure this thing is recording because I got something to say. I am intentionally not putting any sponsors in this video, any sponsorships um, in this video because I got some shit to say. So listen, guys, to my new uh, up and coming creators who are just now getting into sponsorships make sure that you speak up for yourself i just had a situation with a sponsor that i had to uh hold accountable and uh although i do believe that a bigger opportunity will come around come back around uh this opportunity is, is just not gonna happen long story short i did work with them after i worked with them they asked me to provide them some pictures i told them that the content had already been filmed and that um, I didn't have any pictures that I could provide them right off that were HD. Um, and then they offered me a fee. They was like, well, if you can get us some pictures, we'll pay you this fee. So I went and I actually rendered some pictures from the uh, from a separate video that I had filmed. And I submitted those pictures to them. And then they um, was like, oh, the images are blurry. We can't use them. These images can't be perished from an actual video. They have to be HD. And, yada 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 and if you can get those subs we'll pay you this fee and all of this so I was like okay well you know I I'm just gonna have to lose out on the fee the content has already been filmed I'm not gonna be able to go back and get dressed again and put the wig back on and all of that so they said okay no problem we understand so then they emailed me again a day or two later like we you did such a beautiful job we want to work with you again and I was excited girl y'all baby why I didn't went over there to their website and the pictures they said they couldn't use is on the website I click on the thing and I'm the first person I see on the website so I emailed them back and I emailed them and I was like listen you guys use the images in which I provided that you said could not be used because they were not clear you know I don't have a problem working with you but if you want to build a long-lasting relationship with me working business relationship with me um, my work ethic is predicated off of uh, integrity 
and it's predicated off of honesty and it is also predicated off of trust so if we can't have those three things then I don't see us being able to work together in the future you know I, you did use these images and so then they gonna email us back to my we we use though we took them images off of a video our technician took them images off of a video and gonna talk about some um we didn't want to work with you because you asked us for a fee and so I pulled up the email where they specifically and explicitly advised me that if we uh if we can pay you another fee can you read you know can you do another can you take some pictures so I screenshotted that and I sent it to them and girl they never responded and my thing is this if you are doing to her you are doing to me what what what, what did I y'all wanna say if you do it to her you do it to me and you don't have permission to disrespect me so anyway I was pissed off because I'm like yeah you know y'all they they're playing games and they don't expect to be called out you know, they don't expect to be called out. And then they also think like they can just get over on influences. You're not, you need to go. You're not going to be able to get over on me. You know what I'm saying? Like I understand the rights of usage and stuff like that. And so, you know, you're not going to be able to get over on me. And then let's not talk about the fact that like sometimes when you're dealing with these sponsors or dealing with these uh, like wig companies and just different companies because English is their second language a lot of times they don't understand you know what's really going on in your video and they don't really understand it and so a lot of times what I've had happen to me they'll kind of look at my comments and in my comment section a lot of times it's you guys laughing and putting the laughing faces in there so they understand emojis and so they understand okay this person is funny so girl y'all one company gonna send me a motherfucking homie to close wig around. I was like, I'm not doing anything. They, they gonna talk about, I'm sorry y'all, let me calm down because I'm getting pissed off just the idea of thinking about it. They gonna talk about some, um, hello beauty, uh, you're so beauty funny, uh, can you do this wig for us? And so I was like, okay, what wig? Girl, they sent me the link. They sent me the link of the wig. Y'all, why was it a big old ugly a big old ugly red homie the clown wig and I was like no like I don't want no big old ugly homie the clown wig you know what I'm saying what are wigs that y'all be sending the other girls you know what I'm saying the, the the pretty beautiful fluffy wigs I don't want this big old ugly monster wig girl so anyway um I was just very nice and you know just explaining to them that I didn't have an interest in that particular wig or whatever so I didn't hear from them again they ghosted me and girl then they gonna pop up like two weeks later and then was like um trying to try that wig again or whatever and I was like no so then the third time they emailed me I guess they was emailing me like okay well you can choose whatever wig that you want now let me preference this by saying let me say this maybe the ugly homie the clown wig that they sent me or was trying to send me maybe that's what they was promoting but I didn't see no other girls on the YouTube like modeling that wig y'all it was a big old red like afro wig and I was like, I don't want this wig. Like, that's not even... And I'll be trying to tell them, like, my audience, they not going to like this wig. They don't want no big old homie the clown wig. So, y'all, you got to speak up. Y'all, I just had to speak up for myself. And then it's like, that was a second company that tried to play me when it came to pictures. Because I do charge an extra fee for my pictures because you're using the likeness, likeness of my image. You know, and I didn't learn all of this stuff in, until I started researching, you know, brand management and 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 um, uh, brand management and what's the name of that other the other thing? A uh, rights of usage. And and so even a even if a company emails you and they're willing to pay you seven hundred dollars, for example, to model a wig for eight minutes just to show you doing the installation and the wig, you need to come on. Girl driving like it's like it's easy like Sunday morning. She looked like she got on that big clown red wig they was trying to send me. But anyway, even if a company pay you seven hundred dollars to model a wig for eight minutes, that's just an example, guys. They are still making thousands of dollars off of you and your image. 
You know what I'm saying? They're still making thousands and thousands of dollars off of you and your image when people go to the website and they click on that. And even even worse, like even if we were to a able to come to some type of resolve where like, for example, like with Jurley She, what I like with Jurley She does, yes, they will use the likeness of your content, but because they link your channel, it, it not only gives your... Um, it gives your you your channel a chance to grow meaning like they link your channel so you can click on the link and then it takes people to your channel and then people watch the content the try on haul not only do they buy the stuff but they also um subscribe to your channel and become you know supporters of the channel this company didn't do that they just didn't put the pictures up there girl they ain't put no name next to it no youtube channel no nothing and so anyway um i did lose out on that but my better judgment is telling me like you know how you do one thing is how you do everything and it's like ain't no telling what else they would have done had I not spoke up so sometimes you got you cannot be scared to speak up and that that kind of is piggybacking off of what I talked about um, at the end of the last video that we filmed um, where I was saying like sometimes you know you the same thing that you're running from in corporate America you're gonna deal with in um, in this in this uh, in this influence the world and it's true you know you cannot be afraid to speak up you cannot you you know what I'm saying because you're if you don't stand up for yourself there's nobody else out here representing you that's gonna stand up for you and if you do have representation let's talk about that let's talk about a brand uh, a company management company representing you if you have representation guys they don't represent you on every single deal they don't represent you they'll maybe if, if you've made a certain deal with them they may only represent you in your what we consider to be outbound deals meaning the deals that they go seek out for you and they go find for you yeah you have representation on that but the deals that you're negotiating they're not gonna jump in that deal if they're not making no money off of it so if you don't stand up for yourself nobody else will so that's something that I face and it's a lesson learned number one if I could go back and do it all over again I just would have not sent them pictures at all I would have just said no I don't have pictures and I would have renegotiated the rate and the new sponsorship if I were to work with them again so y'all this is a big 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 it's a learning curve y'all so now we are on our way to Ross so I need to see if they have like girl y'all Ross is like the best kept secret okay so they have like the Starbucks cold brew and the deals on it is it's, it's really good so I need to see if I can pick one of those up but girl I'm not gonna tell y'all I just had a damn <laughs> I just had a stare off with some <laughs> <laughs> Some dude over in this Houston traffic, girl. Because one thing, baby, listen, listen. One thing the people is going to do in Houston traffic, they going to stare you down. They going to stare you down. And once they once they look at you, their eyes ain't going to turn away. He looking. I'm looking. And we just, we just sitting there looking like this. Well, he looks at me. And I look at him. And he looks at me. So, yeah, girl. So... I pretty much wanted to stare off because he eventually looked away. So, yeah. Um, when we leave Ross, we need to go to Big Lots. I need to go to Big Lots and get some cleaning stuff or whatever. And I think that's going to be our little errands for the day. I'm really trying to get all of this stuff out of the way today because I do not want to be doing any of this tomorrow. So, yeah. Um... And I'm going to be honest with you, girl. I'm going to try to go in Ross and get exactly what I need and get the hell up out of there. See, y'all, this is why we need to stay the hell up out of Ross. Y'all, look at this 
gorgeous chair. Oh my goodness. And it's only $90. So freaking pretty. So um, I was thinking about getting it and putting it um, over in the desk area, but it's going to be too high. So um, we're going to leave it here, but I love Ross. They always have like the cutest stuff. Okay, there we go. Girl, yeah, y'all. So I've been calling my sister to see if she wanted to go to dinner tonight. And oh, yeah, I'm headed ass and I'll pick up the phone. She be pissing me off because one thing, one thing I can tell you, girl, y'all, my sister be having that phone glued to her hand. Like the phone don't leave her side. And it be pissing me off. Hold on, girl. Let me back up real quick. This big ass kidnap man coming behind me. Hold on. Yeah, girl. So she be having a phone. And I know you're going to watch this vlog. I know you're going to watch this vlog. She be pissing me off. Because anytime I'm around her, baby, that phone is literally glued to her hand. But I call her. She not answering the phone. But when she call me, I always answer the phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm so sick of it. I'm going to block her ass. All right, y'all. So we have our products. Uh, just some cleaning stuff, like I said. But girl, I forgot I did not have a plunger. So we're absolutely getting that. And then they have one of my favorite cereals. Y'all don't be sleeping on big lots, girl. So they got uh, Frosted Flakes, which is one of my faves. And then we just getting some Kleenex or whatever. So that's basically it. I'm about I'm about to go check out. All right, y'all. I was actually looking for like two planters like this, but girl, one of these, uh, one of them is like fifty five dollars, and the other one is forty five. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> no, thank you. So we're gonna. Oh, that's okay. Um, we're gonna order one from Amazon. So yeah, cause I'm not. I I had no idea that these things are this expensive, but this is already you know so that base is already attached to the bottom of it girl i thought these were going to be way more affordable obviously i am home um i had to you know unpack everything or whatever but yeah girl so obviously we are at the uh bombshell beauty room headquarters but anyway girl let me show y'all the mirror you, you guys see the mirror behind me this is our new mirror so i got this from amazon and it was only um i paid a hundred dollars for it and i love it so we got that and i also like it because it does serve as kind of like a little storage space so you see behind it i have my wig head and i have a wig that i need to review but like from this angle um let me just kind of maneuver it a little bit from this angle, when you come, you know, when you kind of walk in, you can't see really anything, you know, behind the mirror. And, you know, it just give the, it gives the illusion, you know, that is just this gorgeous mirror. So I love that. And then I purchased these really cute boxes and it just they just say, find your happiness. I purchased these from Ross because, y'all, I just don't want all of those hair, uh, all of the hair supplies and stuff on the desk, you know, when I'm not over here doing my hair. So I purchased one for the, my hair and one for the makeup. So I'll show y'all. So we have the makeup in here and then we have the hair products in here. So yeah, and then also y'all, I purchased this, uh, it's like a holster. And I like it because it actually has plugs on it. So you can plug up your appliances, your hair appliances, curling irons, flat irons, whatever, hot comb. And I love that um, because literally there is only one plug. So you literally plug this gadget in and you, then you just store your, you know, your tools and stuff in there. And then also I purchased this silicone mat. Now, guys, the silicone mat in this little contraption that's from Amazon. The boxes that I showed you, those are from Ross and those are $12 a piece. And then we have this cute little mirror right here that you see in front of you. I purchased that from Amazon. I think I might have paid maybe like $15 for it. Girl, not them at the pool. But anyway, so I paid like $15 for this. Um, 
So yeah, so far that's the setup. Oh no, y'all know this is my favorite, my favorite room in the house. I don't know if you guys, uh, a lot of you guys are are new here, but well, to my OG bombshell, y'all remember um, when I used to be filming and uh, you know from the old apartment, and I used to always be in our in our beauty room, girl. It's this thing sliding down is making me mad, girl. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all, because I thought they was arguing again. I don't know. I guess I hear some laughing, but I mean, maybe that's, I don't know, girl, because y'all know they crazy over here. I told y'all we live in Argo on the Harbor. Y'all, so I just got out the shower. I just finished brushing my teeth, and I wanted to show y'all some of my Holy Grail products that I use to keep my teeth nice and white. Number one, the first thing you're going to need is one of these. This is like a magnifying mirror. So this mirror is going to magnify like 10 by 10. So I literally keep this little tiny mirror on the mirror. And so when I'm flossing and when I'm brushing my teeth, I just kind of get up. Um, I'll just kind of get like close to the mirror like this. And that way I can kind of see everything that's going on. So that's number one. Uh, so... I first use a water flosser. So this is how I just clean my teeth, pre-clean my teeth. So I use my water pick first. After I use my water pick, I go in with my dental floss and I like to use the Glide. This is my favorite one. So I then go in with my floss. After I floss, I brush. And I have this electric toothbrush, Colgate. This is actually my favorite electric toothbrush. And this is pretty affordable. I think it's like seven to ten dollars. I purchased it from HEB. And so I do all of that. And then my last and final step after I brush is to go back in a last and final time with the uh the water flosser. Because girl, I was like looking at my teeth in the mirror and I didn't realize like Sometimes when you floss your teeth, the dental floss will leave like little strands of dental floss in between your teeth. And so I want to make sure like all of that stuff is out. Everything is out. And so then I'll just go back in a final time with that. And then the last, 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 last step <laughs> is a uh, mouthwash. And so I use the long lasting heb long lasting uh mouthwash i know listerine has one of these but girls to be honest with you they work the same so i like this one because your mouth is still feeling really really fresh even like five six hours later and so yeah i know that that seems like a very strenuous process but because i have these veneers i do have to have um you know different steps and stuff in place to clean them and take care of them um, because I do get my dental care out of the country and I'm not able to just fly out of the country at a moment's notice. Um, and so typically I leave twice a year, which uh, we're actually scheduled pretty soon to be leaving to go get a cleaning. But yeah, girl, so I know again, like I was saying, it's extensive, but um, if you want to take care of your veneers and keep them beautiful and keep them clean and uh, that type of thing, these are just the steps that you're going to you're going to have to do. Yeah, girl, so. Ooh. All right, y'all. Um, let me try to put this a little bit higher. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, girl, like I was saying, she travels the world for a living, okay? And so, because she travels the world for a living, um she kind of planned that out for herself and so her plan is to move to costa rica anyway um what i want to say is this like if you know that you are ready to leave corporate america or you're just ready to leave, leave work in the tra traditional sense two things that you're gonna have to probably face number one 
Uh, people are going to be judgmental because for the most part, we are all conditioned to have a traditional job. You know, whether it's corporate America, blue collar, white collar, hospitality, whatever it is. For the most part, we're conditioned to have a new job. So you're going to face a lot of judgment as far as that's concerned. And then number two, if you really are, if this is a journey that you want to take, you're going to have to save. And um, I'm not going to sit up here and be like, girl, don't, don't be going to Marshalls and don't be going to Ross. But what I will say is like, you know, maybe slowly cut back on some of those things. Um, I'll tell y'all a quick story time. I used to work for AT&T. I think you guys know that. And AT&T, it was a great company. It was, it was fun because I, I had great coworkers and, and customers. But AT&T was also one of those companies where when they're ready to get rid of you, they're going to get rid of you. And it's nothing that you can say and do. I started feeling like they didn't want me there anymore. And I didn't just sit back and wait for anything to happen. You know, I just started uh, planning my escape. I think that um, I had decided maybe, I want to say June or July, that I was going to leave AT&T. And so it took me three months to save up $14,000. Now, I know that that's like a huge, uh, that's a big chunk of money. But guys, I worked in sales. And because I worked in sales, you know, I really leaned on my uh, commission and I saved everything. I stopped shopping. I scaled back on a lot of things and I was able to leave. And so my leave date from AT&T was October the 1st. And girl, I was gone by October the 1st. You know what I'm saying? And so um, I just wanted to give you guys some encouragement for those who are just over just over the whole corporate America thing or, or just the work thing in general, you know that there perhaps is a way that you can um, you can make it and you can make it on your own without, you know, having to be in somebody's office or in somebody's, um, you know, organization, if you will. I would strongly encourage that you head over to Stephanie Perry. Again, her, her, her YouTube name is Stephanie Perry. I'll link everything below. And guys, just watch some of those videos because it's like she's so encouraging. She's so motivating. And she does make you feel like you can rule the world. You know what I'm saying? And so um, I think for me, listening to her videos was reassurance that I am doing the right thing. You know, um, it's just that with 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 what I do and, you know, with not working a traditional job, girl, y'all, people be judging, you know, because that's all they know. And so if they see you doing something, and you going against the grain, they're immediately going to try to put you back into that shell. But anyway, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I did want to tell y'all that. So I need to get this uh, desk together. So I'm doing that. Um... I think I showed y'all the boxes early on. I showed y'all these boxes early on in the in the video. Hold on, girl. So I showed y'all these. So that's where I put all of the hair products and stuff when we're not filming. So, so that's how we are handling that. And then y'all, girl. I need to, y'all, I need to film this damn hair video. But when I tell you I don't feel like it, but that's what pays the bills, you know. I just don't feel like filming it right now. But um, that's another reason why I got this ponytail, why Ponytail Rochelle is back. Because we do need to film a, uh, a wig sponsorship. So, yeah, girl. But anyway, let's get the, let me get the desk together. And then when I come back, um... I don't know. I'm like, do we feel like, do we feel like an episode of Rock Scratch a Kitchen? I don't know. But anyway, let me get the desk together and I'll figure it out. All right. I know. I know. I know we said that we were going to do Rock Scratch a Kitchen, but you know what? We're going out to dinner. Um, it's time for us to get out this house. Let me lift this up. I got cabin fever. I know you guys probably have cabin fever, so let's just get out the house and have a drink and some din din. <laughs> so guys, I have on these super cute distressed jeans. I wore these before, so I've only worn these one time. I think these are a size uh, seven, but to be honest with you, I wish I would have gotten them in like a nine because I don't like having to like, you know, pull them up or whatever. I have on this super cute little bralette, you know, so that way, if some if we get get a situation like this, you know, we all covered. <laughs> and then guys, this super cute, super cute. Let me come closer. Chanel inspired little um 
what is this? This cute little cheap, well, cute little Chanel inspired uh, blazer from Shein, girl. I think I paid $12 for it. So super cute. It's cropped all the way around. And the reason why I say it's cheap, because it is, because it's doing cheap shit. You know what I'm saying? And that means thread coming off of it. So, girl, let me cut this. Okay. All right. Put this over here. All right. So, anyway, but I love it, y'all. It's, it's not like the most expensive thing, but I love it. It's really cute. And so, it does. Uh, you can wear it open. Of course, we're not going to be wearing this open. But anyway, um, and if you're a little bit more conservative, you can button it up like that. I don't feel like being conservative today. So I'm just going to leave the top button open. And then, of course, you know, we got Ponytail Rochelle. And we're doing mixed metals, guys. And so I just have on these really cute strappy uh, silver J-Lo heels. I don't know. If, hopefully y'all can see that, J-Lo heels. And then we're going to be wearing my favorite bag which is the Teti Blake. You guys know I love this bag. So I just think this is like a super cute little outfit. So yeah, let me get another battery and put you guys on the portable tripod and uh, we are gonna talk when I get in the car. And y'all, we're wearing these sunglasses, guys. I got these from Value Village. I think I might have paid $3 for these. So yeah, we're going to be wearing these. I love them because they're sheer. And of course, they're pink and it matches our cute little look. Somebody tell the people what the fuck is up. I'm grinding like a dozer looking cool as fuck. I'm grinding, I'm most hated, but I sell the stage. I'm grinding, I'm most hated, but I'm getting paid. So I did not tell y'all where we are going. I, I don't know if I did, but if I didn't, we're going to Raw, Raw Sushi. I wanted to come over here and use this $20, uh, $20 gift card before it ran out. So it's going to be expired on the 1st of March. So yeah, girl. And, um, you know, sometimes I get cabin fever. Y'all know that I am very, very, very introverted. But um, I, I'm almost an extreme introvert until i just get to the point where i just can't take it now my old girl and i'll be having to get out of the house and so uh that's really what's going on and uh, so yeah i want to give me a um a blushing geisha that's the drink that i want and then i want to give me a um rocket i think it's called a rock and roll or something like that so I don't want my food to be too spicy because, girl, y'all know if you guys have ever eaten it wrong, you have a sensitive palate. You guys know that the food can get super, super spicy. So, yeah. Um, but this should be a nice little outing. It's a nice, beautiful Monday night. Now, guys, when I leave here, I got to get home and got I got to get home and start editing. So, yeah, girl. But um, 
I don't know, I've just been thinking a lot, like a lot lately about how I want my life to look. And you know, when I close my eyes, <laughs> every time I close my eyes, but anyway, when I close my eyes, like what I truly want my life to look like. And I just want, like, of course I want to be, um, oh girl, I hope this, we going the right way. Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, I just want to be like a little bit more adventurous, not extreme, but just a little bit more adventurous. And, um, you know, I just want to, I just want everything in my life to match. And what I mean by that is like, I want, um, you know, like I just want everything to match, meaning like I want my home to be nice. Now, it's not going to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is not perfect all the time. But I want my home to match. I want, you know, my credit to be aligned with that. I want, um, you know, to have a substantial amount of money in the bank. You know, just all of the things that match. And so, you know, like when people start peeling back the layers, everything goes together. You know what I mean? And this is like, I don't want to be a person where like, uh-uh, baby, you better wait. I don't want to be a person where I look like I have it, you know, all together. And then, you know, you be like, y'all be like, uh uh, you know, like, girl, you, I don't know. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to be offensive because it takes a while to get to get to where I'm getting to you know what I'm saying and so I'm trying to be very selective and very careful with my words you know because it, it, it's not you know it's, it doesn't make you like a bad person if you don't have it all together shit I don't have it all together which is why I picture what I want my life to look like you know all I'm saying is like I want my credit I want you know great credit a beautiful home you know I want to be more beautiful on the inside than I am on the outside because that's more important than all this shit because the bottom line is baby it don't matter how fine and how cute you are if you ugly on the inside you might as well hang it up what Nikki say hang it up flat screen it doesn't matter but I just want everything to match you know my looks my body my credit my bank account my house my car you know we're getting there we're a work in progress or whatever so yeah girl well we didn't pull up on city center girl um it looked like it's not too crowded people are just kind of um you know minding their business which is what i love um uh, meaning like it's not a whole 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 lot of people so i'm about to go park on the fourth floor because I know that I'm guaranteed to have somewhere to park. Oh, girl, I didn't know they had um, the little charging uh, stations. If you have a hybrid, you can charge your car over here. But yeah, girl. So anyway, y'all, let me kind of concentrate in this parking garage. Get us somewhere to park. And I'm going to see y'all when we get to the restaurant. Y'all, look how pretty it is out here, girl. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love it. Girl, y'all, Nick over here talking about he want to have some more cheerings when he get 85, girl. Baby, let me tell you something. Nick need to wrap that thing up, baby. He need to wrap. <laughs> he need to wrap that thing up. He need to wrap it up, pack it up, and ship it out. Nick don't need no more cheerings. 
He got 12 kids. 12. I forgot to show y'all our gorgeous flowers. I think this is like some hydrangeas. I know for a fact that these are hydrangeas, but girl, I think this is like a, I don't know. What is this, y'all? A white sunflower, maybe? I don't know, but it's pretty. It is gorgeous. I love it. Ooh, girl, let me tell you. That drink at, um, that drink at Raw was so strong. Hold on, let me prop up the camera, girl. Listen, why was it like a older, like white dude at the bar, y'all? He was so drunk. That man was so drunk. And I, he had, I was like, he obviously just got here, but he has been somewhere else before he came here. So I think he was just going from bar to bar. So anyway, he got there, he ordered a drink, he ordered his food. Maybe five minutes later, he was raising hell about where is his food. The guy was like, well, it takes time to put the food in. And so then, girl, all of a sudden he turns to me and he was just like, well, aren't you lovely? And I was like, here we go. And so he was like, describe that sushi in three words. <laughs> And so I gave him three words. I think I was like amazing, um, delightful, and stupendous. And he was like, you know, those are the most positive words I've heard in Houston to describe sushi. And I was like, oh my God. So anyway, after that, they brought him a drink, never brought him his food. And so I think they kind of realized that, you know, he was just, he was just done. So anyway, they convinced him to close his tab out. He closed his tab out and then he left. But y'all, that man was so fucking drunk. And I was like, well, they probably shouldn't have served him, but I don't know all the laws and stuff behind that. But um, as a bartender, I think maybe they just should not have, have served him anything. But anyway, but it just felt good to like get out of the house and just kind of clear my head a little bit. And also I was thinking like, it just felt good to be present in the moment. You know, like I had to, I realized like I wasn't distracted by Instagram or anything. I was just in the moment and that kind of felt good. Um, but yeah, girl, I got to edit this damn vlog. I'm sleepy, but I need to edit this guys. Tonight is the 27th. So this vlog should be out on the 28th. And then I'm gonna I'm go through the commercials, like uh, YouTube commercials, cause y'all they loaded that last com that last video up with so many damn commercials. So I'm gonna make sure that I try to go in and manually space this stuff out so you guys can, you know, really enjoy the vlog. I just feel like you couldn't even enjoy the last vlog because every time you look up, it was a damn commercial. So anyway, I'm gonna do that. And, um, but I did want to say this before we close the vlog out, girl, y'all need to watch, you listen, on Netflix, it's a show, it's called The Strayers. Yeah, The Strayers. Y'all need to watch that, girl, that movie is so good. Um, if y'all don't want to hear what it's about, go ahead on and, uh, click off, because this might be a little bit of a spoiler alert, but I'm gonna try not to give it all, all away. But anyway, so it's about this black lady who decides that she wants a different life for herself. Once she makes a decision that she wants a different life for herself, she moves. But before she moves, like, or I'll just say that she has two kids that she leaves behind. She only she leaves her two kids behind, goes and finds this new life for herself, does extremely well for herself. She has two different kids and she has a husband, a white husband, and two mixed kids or whatever. And girl, the other kids that she left behind, girl, they came back into like her quote unquote new life. And baby, they started like, um, they started like stalking her or whatever. Not stalking her, but like they basically invaded their way into her new life. But when they invaded their way into her new life, they were more like, uh, very, very forceful. And they were like, um, girl they was just they was just tyrants and then just i'm trying to think of the right word they was just i'm just gonna say this they was too damn terrors you know what i'm saying they terrorized her or whatever she tried to pay them off and it was like they didn't want her money they was just like still so angry about her leaving them behind so y'all it's a really good movie so i didn't spoil too much it's a good movie you guys need to watch it again it is on netflix 
so yeah girl um but yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here guys this was a struggle vlog okay so anyway um hopefully you, oh wait a minute let me say this i'm gonna close the vlog out here if we have enough content now listen if i don't have enough content i'm gonna be back okay so let me check the memory card and see what we working with and i'm gonna call y'all back hey. Hey.